Hey Internet, Eric here again. Uh, new concept here on my channel. Um, if you've seen my other channel that I guest on with my buddy called Whitey the White Guy, you know, I'll put the link down here. Um, we have a, one of our categories is called Story Time, where we just tell random stories that have happened to us over the years. Um, and we haven't had one in a while, and Whitey told me I should probably do my own thing with that there. Well, on this channel. So I'm gonna I'm gonna directly steal that idea, even though he told me how to, told me to do it. Um, and but to make it different, I'm just gonna call it like Master Shit Theater or something like that. But just a new concept. I mean, I don't know how often I'm gonna tell these stories, but here we go. Um, this one happened back in 2006 because I got married in 2007. So when this happened, my wife and I were currently engaged okay now my buddy Gary was in town and Gary lives in Portland Oregon I live in Illinois so I don't obviously get to see him often we only contact through Facebook and shit like that and at the time then I don't even think Facebook was big I think it was still fucking MySpace and Gary was in town me and my buddy Derek and Rod we were all gonna go meet him at the bar and we did and a few drinks, we were having a blast, and then they were like, you know what? Joe's having a party at his house. You want to go there? I said, fuck yeah, let's go there because, A, beer's already there. I don't got to fucking pay for it. And, what was it, B, he lives just down the fucking road from where my wife lived at the time. So I don't have to drive. I can get fucked up and just walk home. So we're like, all right, let's go. So, we get in Derek's car, you know, Derek's driving, I get in the passenger seat, the back seat is full of crap, and there's a car seat in the back, so poor Rod, since he's the skinny one, he's got to sit in the car seat, while we go to Joe's house. We go to Joe's house, and we're, of course, getting fucked up and drunk, and eventually, I look at Derek, I'm like, Derek, you point me to the liquor store, not because I needed more beer, but, um... Pull me to the liquor store because if I get to the liquor store, I know how to walk home to my wife's house or her apartment. Excuse me. God damn. He's like, all right, let's go. So we're walking to the liquor store. And it's like maybe two or three blocks away from, from Joe's house. We're already drunk as hell. And as we're walking to the liquor store, we got this couple walking away from the liquor store towards us. We're like, we maybe meet like block and a half from the liquor store and it's the stereotypical gangster thug you know black guy with hoodie pants off his ass and what have you and a pretty little white girl you know long brown curly hair to her shoulders very pretty and she's talking up a storm i mean she's very loud we can hear her already from from far away and it's just me and derek we we were dicks and we kind of ditched rod at the house and um what happened was you know we we're passing her and she stops and she starts conversation with us and stuff like that and then just out of the out of the blue she starts starts sniffing Derek and um we don't know what the hell's going on and I got this fucking hair on me right now bugging the hell out of me and she starts sniffing Derek you know, oh I love your cologne and blah 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 oh hey you want to come you know Derek of course he's drunk off his mind he's single at the time hey you want to come to a party with us blah 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 she's like yeah sure let's go let's go and then shit you not the the wannabe thug literally does this he looks at me looks at Derek and the girl looks at me again shrugs his shoulders and walks off like basically ha ha suckers fuck you you're stuck with her type of thing so she comes with us and Derek's walking with me to the liquor store. Of course, you know, we're all talking with this girl and, you know, she's ha we're having fun, you know. And we get to the liquor store and then instead of me going home, we all decide, okay, let's go get some more beer and go back to the party. Whatever. It was fucking midnight. We still had plenty of time. So we went in. I paid for my beer. And then Derek had his six pack or whatever. And she was, you know, Derek, she was with Derek. And Derek pays for his beer. Gets the change back and she steals the money and, put, and pockets it. And he's like, oh. and Derek's like, hey, give me my money back. She gives him a dollar and he's fine with that. Whatever. Like I said, I don't know if he was just trying to get laid or what have you, but it was just 
we didn't want to cause a scene at the liquor store. And again, we were, we were you know, buzzed off our ass. So we decided to go back to Joe's house. Because, you know, we're also wondering what the fuck happened to Rod. Because we just now realized Rod's not with us. So we're walking back to Rod's house. Not Rod's house. We're walking back to Joe's house. You know, looking for Rod. And, of course, we got this, you know, this, this drunken mystery woman with us. I hear my kid upstairs. I hope my wife isn't killing her now. I don't mean that. Um, get back to Joe's house, and they're like, hey, Eric, Derek, who's this chick? And we're like, I don't know. Hey, what the hell is your name? And she just looks at everybody. She says, my name is Satan. Pleased to meet you. So we're there for maybe another half hour, and then it's basically time to call it quits. Everybody's leaving. Gary has already left. I think Rod has probably pissed his pants in fear because we left him with everybody. And eventually we all decide, you know, I'm going to walk. We're, we, first off, we want to get this chick home. So I'm like, hey, Satan, where do you live? And she says, I'm from this and this street. And Rod lived in the area. And he, oh, yeah, that's a real street. Okay, well, let's walk you home. So we walk her home. And then, you know, she's yelling at the top of her lungs how we're going to rock out with our cocks out and all this stuff. And we're just, we're all busting up laughing. And we finally get to the street. And then we get to what she claims is her house. I said, okay, okay, Satan, if you get in this house, you know, I mean, you go up there and you open the door and you shut the door. We're going to, we're going to ditch your ass, you know. Sorry if you're in the wrong house and, you know, <laughs> you know, some crazy redneck shoots you because it's not your house. That's not on us. And she's, oh, crap, don't worry about it. So she's walking up to her porch. She sees that the neighbors have their window open. And they can hear, she can hear music on the TV. So she literally goes up and she just knocks on the screen window and just yells, Are there any sluts in there for me to dance with? I mean, everybody's just fucking pulling our faces. And we're like, what the fuck did we do? Thanks a lot, Derek. Why did you pick up this chick? And we're like, hey, hey, hey. Get in your fucking house. She's like, okay, thanks for the welcome. She gets in, closes the door. I'm like, okay, boys, let's get the fuck out of here. And we ditch her. So we're walking about another block away. I said, Rod, point me in the direction of the liquor store. Yada, yada. I go this way. Rod and Derek go to Rod's house so they can sleep it off. I go in to uh, my wife's apartment. And she's sleeping in bed at the time. And I get in and take off my clothes. Laid on bed, you know, of course, she's like, oh, I'm glad you got home safe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what time do we have to get up in the morning? We've got to get up at 8, whatever. The next day, we are getting up to go look at churches to find out where we're going to get married. And we're going with her parents. So I get up, I shower. I'm not hungover, but I'm very, very tired. Not hungover. I got some coffee in me. We're getting good to go. Guy okay, wearing the same pants. As the night before, same undershirt, but I got, you know, a nice sweater. And, you know, we go, we're in the church, and of course I have to, you know, trudge through the church sermon, which I hate. Um, I'm not a church guy at all. You know, I'm just, I'm bored off my ass, and, you know, that type of thing. And then, you know, we realize this isn't the church for us type of thing, you know. And then her parents drop me off at her place. I go home, and then I just, you know, go home. I sit in front of the computer. I take my main, my sweater off. I got my undershirt on, and I'm, like, on the computer. I don't know, MySpace or YouTube or what have you, and I'm smelling. the fuck is that smell? It smells like cigarettes and something else. And then I look down, and I shit you not, from here to here, it's just this big fucking beer stain on my undershirt. And then I think of it, I'm like, holy shit, that's disgusting. And then it hits me. I was just out with my fiance and my future in-laws looking for a possible church to get married in while reeking of booze and cigarettes. What a way to make a good impression on people who are going to be part of my family. And they haven't killed me yet. Now, that's the only story I got for you now for uh, Master Shit Theater. I have a few more. And it usually involves me drinking and doing stupid shit. 
But hopefully this wasn't as bad or as boring. It was just an idea of me to get another video out um, to kill some time. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoy my stupidity. And you know what? There will be more stupidity to come. So take care.